Okay, you music bingers, what the hell's going on? Sorry about the late post. Uh, I've got some shit going on. I gotta tell you about what's going on here. Um, I'm getting some, I just got out of the dentist and uh, had, I'm getting these, uh, this upper, whole upper implant put in. Um, and I think I'm scheduled in two weeks to get that done. And so I'm gonna get that done. And uh, yeah, so I'm happy about that because I've been struggling with major uh, abscesses in my uppers and then I even started getting an abscess on my lower, lower. So my teeth are all fucked up. So I finally went in the dentist after fucking like, I don't know, I think the last time I went to the dentist was like 15 years ago. I don't know, maybe longer. It's disgusting, dude. But, I mean, I always took care of my teeth, floss, and, and brush, but that yeah, plaque shit builds up. So, I had some gums receding, so they did a deep clean where they numb your whole... They're not going to bother with my uh, uppers because uh, they're pulling every fucking thing out in about two weeks and putting in these implants. So, yeah, I got to. You know, okay, so that reminds me uh, about the subject I kind of want to just touch on today. And uh, the subject is, don't look like a fucking sack of shit when you're on the stage. Just saying. Don't look like a sack of shit. Just get up there, have some dignity, clean yourself up, wash your fucking nut sack, your crack sack, make it all nice and clean, feel good when you get out there and do your show. Because it's important when you have dignity and you feel good about yourself and the way you look and stuff. Listen, I'm not putting down the people that wear a fucking, you know, uh, uh, loincloths and, and fucking ripped up t-shirts. If you want to have that grunge, homeless look, that's cool. I'm not putting that down. But do it right, you know? Fucking, uh, if you're going to go like a homeless fucker on the corner or whatever, I get it. Do it. But do it right, you know? Get some fucking mud out of the gutter and rub it on your face and look really fucking scroungy and dirty if that's the look you're looking for but if not i hope this, this is coming out the camera's just shaking like a piece of shit on this thing so anyways seriously uh just take a little pride in what you look like it doesn't matter what you wear or what just make sure you're clean you know make sure you're you feel good you, you feel clean about yourself because i'm telling you that goes a long ways when you're up there entertaining people and they all got their eyes on you you want to look like a sack of shit i don't think so so just do that man just get cleaned up look good feel good because if you look good you feel good that, that's a fact right uh, you know, just put some nice uh, threads on and this, that, and the other, whatever your thing. My thing, my style, when I go up and play, sometimes I'm very casual. I mean, I'm not wearing any stained t-shirt or anything, but, you know, I'm sometimes I wear, like in the summer, if it's hot or whatever, I'm just wearing a t-shirt or like a, maybe a little, uh, I just now started wearing like the little Hawaiian shirt, short sleeve Hawaiian shirts, kind of wearing those. I kind of double layer it sometimes or whatever. We'll wear something underneath with it unbuttoned or whatever. But just look good. That's all, man. That's all I'm saying right now. So this is what I'm going to do is um, I got a gig. I got a, a casual gig. It pays pretty decent. And it's just for two hours. And it's at the Elks Lodge. You know, I have a residency at the Moose. Well, this is at the Elks Lodge on the other side of the lake excuse me and uh so uh and it's for it's for the the marines or something so it's going to be a lot of elderly people so i'm obviously going to adjust my set to that and start playing you know more of the old stuff and maybe a little old elvis and you know if they feel like dancing or whatever so what i'm going to do is I'll, I'll i'll bring the camera with me next week uh, or friday so it's just in a couple days. So I'll, I'll have another post for you this weekend because I feel bad. I waited like 10 days to get this one up, but I've been going through a lot of shit. A lot of shit's going on right now. And I'll tell you about that later, but it's, but it's good shit, but it's still shit. I don't know if that made sense, but anyways, 
So, yeah, so I'm gonna bring the camera along, so I'll just do a little thing and just kind of see, you know, if some of you guys that haven't been out there and never done a lodge before, like a Mason's Lodge or uh, VFW, Moose, Elk, whatever it is, uh, you kind of get familiar with, you know, you just meet somebody, get there, get, I like, so I'm gonna get there early, like in the afternoon, like I think like two, maybe one or two o'clock in the afternoon. My gig, I think is at seven, so yeah, seven to nine or, Eight to, uh, yeah, or it's uh, six to, I don't remember, damn it. Okay, but I think it's seven o'clock. But anyways, I'm gonna get there early. I'm sure I'll run into him and I'll confirm the time or I'll just call him. But anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna, I want, I like to get there early, set up, you know, get dialed in, get a nice little sound check, get my, oh, by the way, my uh, earphones or those earplugs are working out pretty cool. What I notice is it's a little challenging. So, so you do need a little preamp to pump up your headphones because what's going to happen is you're going to get into, uh, at least for me, what I noticed was I can go direct into my headphone on, on, the, on the mixer, but I, what I, and, and crank it up all the way. You know, but the problem is when you bring your mains down and you're playing at a quiet, kind of a quiet gig and you don't want to play so loud, you really can't hear it that way. I can't even hear the fucking drums. I went, oh shit, I, 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 last week I had to, after, in my break, I had to go uh, pull out the little preamp I have, little headphone preamp that I have, and it, but it's a little preamp and, and you can put multiple headphones in it, but it's a preamp. So it bumps it up. So you dial your headphone uh, volume on the board about 60 percent you don't want to go too high you're going to get uh you're going to get noise you know white noise and get that, that white noise um so put it about 60 percent and then adjust to your liking on the preamp the little tiny preamp that you uh uh that you plug you actually plug your headphone in so it gives it a little boost and you can turn that up no matter how low you're playing and crank that up and they'll hear your, and then you can hear the drums. You can hear the monitor. So that was the only glitch, not really a glitch, but the thing I had to kind of get used to and figure out. Now, there is a way, I think, I've got to look it up on YouTube. There is a way to, um, to, uh, shit, what was I going to say? Uh, there is a way to plug your, use your, uh, your headphones, earbuds, monitors, you can plug them into your auxiliary. But what I noticed about auxiliary is, it's it's either right or left channel. You can't get both. But I think there's somebody on YouTube, or maybe one of you guys might know, you can get stereo. Somehow there's a way to get stereo uh, through auxiliary. If you're going to run your your uh, mon uh, your head headphone monitors, your earbud monitors out of auxiliary, because auxiliary, I can even well I like to hear my vocals. I'm, I don't care about the guitar too much because you kind of always hear guitar anyways. But you can I can just crank the drums without cranking everything else up because you know the thing is if you crank it too loud on headphone jack using your monitor there because you're taking the main. You're bringing everything up. You're bringing the drums, guitar, and your vocals all up. You're not just, you're not just turning up, you know. So with auxiliary, what's nice is with having auxiliary monitor is you can just bring up what you want to hear, what's comfortable to you. If you don't want too much vocal, you can bring the vocal down on your auxiliary uh, dial on the channel. So yeah, but anyway, so. That's uh, uh, like I said. I'm gonna uh, bring the the um, the, uh, the the this camera here with me uh, on Friday, and I'll just do a little breakdown. Maybe I'll go through some of my gear and stuff that I have once I get set up, and just so you can see the room and stuff like that, you know. And like I said, it's uh, I played there before, and I've actually played in the room I'm playing in. It's the banquet room, so it's got a big stage and tables everywhere and stuff like that you know it's an elk's lodge but you know i don't think there's going to be a lot of uh, uh people there like it's just a special little event it's just for the marines i guess or something not a pow thing it's a marines thing and a lot of them are 
you know, probably on, on uh, you know, they got me beat as far as age-wise, you know, they're probably older cats, so, uh, but it should be fun, it's a two-hour gig, it pays good, and so and that's all there is to that, so, uh, all right, you guys, get in the freaking woodshed, and keep your fucking ass crack clean when you get up there and play, and uh, feel good about yourself, Get in that woodshed, bust those songs out, get those songs real familiar, like the back of your hand, especially you cats that are just starting off or hadn't been, been out of the circuit for a while. Yeah, just brush up, man. Just brush up, just get up there in the woodshed and practice up, and uh, you will soon be soothing souls and bringing smiles. So uh, I'll be posting again, like I said, this, this coming weekend. So uh, you guys all take care, you guys all rock. Damn it, I just had two, uh, uh two people um uh donated to the channel and i want to appreciate it uh, you guys know who you are and i damn it i don't have the name on me son of a bitch so i just wanted to give you guys a personal little shout because that's it, it, I, it, you don't know what that means to me it just helps it makes it feel a little bit worthwhile of course everything you do comments and uh, uh, that thumbs up bullshit and all that stuff that all helps too I'm not gonna lie, but I just don't like to promote that. My my more, it's more important to me is to get across my uh, my uh, fucked up message, you know, because I, I reason why I say it's fucked up because I don't always know how to translate it and get it out to you guys. But I'm just being real. I want you guys. I just want to be real with you guys so you guys know exactly what to expect when you guys get out there and start, uh, you know, uh, doing your thing. So, love you all, man. You guys all freaking rock. And um, just, just keep on rocking in the free world, all right? Ciao for now, and I'll talk to you in a few days.